Hello everyone and welcome back to The Intellect. Today's episode is about a drone that is as large as a Boeing 737 and used to spy on enemies from 60,000 feet, staying in the sky for more than a day. And we'll also touch on its interesting role as a hurricane hunter. Let's begin. The RQ-4 Global Hawk is one of the most intimidating drones ever used by the US military. It was introduced in 1998 under a project of the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency as an advanced ISR platform. Here are some fascinating facts about this high altitude, long endurance drone. The Global Hawk could reach altitudes exceeding 60,000 feet with an impressive loitering time of over 30 hours. The high altitude capability allows the drone to avoid usual air traffic and bad weather. The drone has a high aspect ratio wing that stretches almost 40 meters, which is four meters greater than the wingspan of the Boeing 737. This high lift low drag wing enhances the loiter time and range over 12,300 nautical miles. Currently, Global Hawk has the Guinness record for the farthest flight by an unmanned aircraft. It flew from California to Adelaide, covering a total distance of 13,219.86 kilometers. The sensor suite of the drone is its main weapon. The optical camera in the drone is of high power and able to capture objects as small as 12 inches from an altitude of 60,000 feet. The drone is capable of surveying an area of 53,000 square miles in 24 hours, which is approximately 25 million football fields. The bulbous nose makes the drone stand out and makes it look like a whale. This nose sports a one, 21 meter wide Kuban steerable antenna that is used for satellite communication. The drone was developed under four block categories, block 10, 20, 30, and 40. Block 30 is the multi-intelligence platform that carries electro-optical slash infrared and synthetic aperture radar sensors with signals intelligence sensors. Signal intelligence plays a crucial role in modern warfare as it could identify electronic signal sources with extreme accuracy. Block 40 drones are extensively used for ground-moving target identification missions where the drone tracks moving targets on the ground. The drone is powered by one Rolls-Royce AE3007 engine. It can carry 17,300 pounds of fuel in its fuselage tank. The engine is strategically positioned between the V-tails to reduce the radar cross-section. While it flies autonomously, the drone is always under the oversight of a remote pilot. Two ground segments control the drone. The LRE, or launch and recovery element, controls the drone during the launch and recovery phases, while the MCE, or mission control element, controls the drone throughout its mission. A single pilot flies the drone from LRE, and when handed over to the MCE, an additional sensor operator is joined by the pilot. The LRE and the MCE can be geographically separated, allowing for more versatile operations. So as a sensor operator, I am basically taking care of the sensor throughout the whole mission. I'm making sure that we're collecting our targets and giving the correct amount of intelligence to our mission commanders and also to our customers and also providing invaluable intelligence to the troops on the ground. While the Global Hawk is extensively used for military missions, NASA is using the Global Hawk as a hurricane hunter. They use the Global Hawk to fly above tropical cyclones to garner data on the cyclones and forecast their track in intensity. The method they use for this is interesting. A special probe named Drop Sonda is launched from the aft belly of the drone when it reaches the right altitude. Then these probes traverse through the cyclone, collecting data on pressure, temperature, humidity, and wind. The data is transmitted back to the drone and to a ground station via a satellite data link. In addition, NASA used two Global Hawk drones for the Hurricane and Severe Storm Sentinel, or the HS3 campaign, which focused on identifying the impact of physical environmental conditions on hurricane intensity change. They were able to cover most parts of the Atlantic Ocean thanks to the high endurance offered by the drone. Unlike other Hurricane Hunter aircraft, the Global Hawk played a unique role in data dissemination. It's true that modern warfare has evolved to a level where timely information is more powerful than weapons. With that said, 
The ISR role played by the Global Hawk is indispensable. It's extremely interesting to see how these unmanned aerial systems are shaping today's battlefields while contributing to other missions such as battling against natural disasters. And that's a wrap for today's video. We hope you enjoyed this episode and there are more videos coming, so consider subscribing to The Intellect. See you next time.